Hi guys, I'm going to do a very requested reading today, Justin Biver's engagement to Haley Baldwin. And a lot of you were messaging me and commenting, oh, you know, he just got engaged. And you were right, last reading they did end up traveling. And I don't remember what else happened, but yeah, they did end up traveling and well, now they're engaged. I do remember that they got the Eight of Wands, and the Eight of Wands signifies also not only traveling, but also clarifying certain matters and speaking clearly, you know, having a clear-cut communication, like a little rainbow on the card, you know, symbol symbolizing a conclusion, an ending, you know? So, yeah, their ending was that, their conclusion and ending was that, you know, engagement, that's where, that's where it ended. So, I'm gonna do a reading to, to see, you know, if this engagement is gonna work, and I'm also gonna do a reading to see what Selena thinks, because you guys, you know, you guys are into Disney, and you teenagers um, have a very distorted concept of love. So I'm just going to do a reading and see what are you know, the energies at bay. But you know, let's, just, let's just see. Let's see. Now remember, tarot cards, there's no yes and no. Because I know a lot of teenagers are writing comments saying, Are they going to get back together? Yes and no. Well... If you're looking for a yes or no quest, uh, answer, you're actually at the wrong video because tarot cards don't say yes or no. They just say circumstances, so, okay? All right. So, I'm gonna do something different than the fortress because the fortress is more of like, you know, the relationship between them and we kind of know the relationship between them and it actually went a little higher, you know, upgraded. So, we're gonna do what they think about each other um yeah how they see themselves in the relationship and what their actions towards this engagement will be and what will be the result and then we'll do selena okay okay so how justin sees himself in this in this engagement how how, how Haley sees herself in this relationship how Justin sees her, how Haley sees him, actions Justin will take towards her, actions Haley will take towards him, and will it, you know, what will be the outcome of this engagement? Will they end up marrying each other or will they not? Okay. Or will they call it off? Okay. All right, let's see. How Justin sees himself in this relationship or in this engagement. He's got the princess of wands. This is the catalyst. This is a, a woman that is free from fear. Maybe the, freeze, the fears of commitment or something that he had. He must have had or something. Um, I'm not saying he did, but just saying. It's a symbol of, of emancipation, of being the catalyst, of breaking through something. All right? Yeah, he's not a woman, but this is just, you know, the, the energies I'm picking up here. All right. It's a good card. How Haley Baldwin sees herself in this relationship. Wow. She's got the star. She's very happy about it. Very hopeful. She's inspired. This is like the card, the highest card of inspiration, guys. Really, really good card. Looking forward towards the future. Looking forward towards the engagement. Okay. You could look these cards up on Google. That's why I'm giving you the names because you guys are teenagers and I know you guys like to snoop around and stuff. So, so that's a good thing though, you know. Learn how to do some research. All right. Um, how, how Justin sees um, Haley in this engagement. The Prince of Cups. Now, the Prince of Cups, I call this the wishing card because he's, he's wishing on the little cup. So, um... He sees Haley like she's wishing for it. Like she's like, wow, you know, my wishes are coming true. You know, I finally get to have him keep Justin. All right. <clears throat> now, how Haley sees Justin in this engagement. The Prince of Swords. The Prince of Swords is a rebel. Okay, Prince, sorry, the Princess of Swords. She's a rebel and she likes to cut through, through, through things that are not improving her things that are holding her back and she doesn't care if there's people that don't agree 
all right? She's still gonna do what she wants, okay? And I know a lot of fans are like, oh, please don't marry uh, Haley, marry Selena. And he doesn't care. So Haley sees him as a person that's very rebellious against all these people that don't agree with this engagement, okay? That have been fans of Selena for a while and, you know, thought they were gonna end up together. She sees that, like, oh yeah, he's just cutting through all that crap, all right? Actions that Justin will take towards disengagement. Anything that he will contribute to it. Wow, yeah. Seems like he's going to go all the way. Okay, guys, he's got the seven of wands. Valor. He's going to be defending his love, defending his position and his decision, his choice to marry Haley. Okay? It's going on strong so far. Could change, but it's going on strong so far. What Haley, Haley's actions towards this engagement change oh, oh wait a minute she's got two of disc change on the bottom i don't know what she's gonna change maybe she's gonna wait a little longer who knows which you know it's kind of weird because she's the one that wants it the most i believe okay but there's gonna be a change and you know it's not always a bad change you know it could probably mean um a change of location oh that's nothing Changing where she lives, maybe moving in together. I don't know if they've moved in together. I don't know. I don't, I'm not a fan of these people, but could mean changing where they live, okay? Moving in together. Just like Ariana did with Pete. All right. This is the grand card right here. What will become of this engagement? Okay. What will become? I'm not saying yes or no, guys. This is not a, a yes or no reading. No, we can't do that. What will become of this relationship? Or this engagement? Wow, the hangman. It's gonna be paused for a while, guys. They're probably gonna be in limbo. You know, it's gonna be an engagement for probably a long a long time before they actually, you know, get married. Okay, according to this card. And it just signifies also surrendering. Okay, so it's a very it's a very dual card. Because it could mean surrendering, you know, marriage, just surrender to it. Because, you know, he's kind of like nailed there. You know, he's, he can't move. He's hanged. So, I'm going to let you guys interpret this card. Because it could either mean surrendering to an experience and just getting married. Or not being able to because you're just nailed down to a cross. Alright? Now, I'm going to read Selena. Selena was on a yacht with her friends. Of course, I mean, if she really did feel bad about this relationship, I mean, what is she going to do? Go on television and cry about it and just humiliate herself even further? Of course not. You gotta act all cool. So, let's see. Let's see what Selena thinks. Um, yes. And I had met, I, sorry, I had uh, read Selena's uh, astrology chart. I'm going to put the link up there, you know, so you guys can check it out. And I might do justice today. So. All right. What does Selena think about this engagement? Okay. How does she feel about it? And what kind of emotion she will display towards it. Okay. Like, what, what reaction? Okay. How does Selena feel about this? Oh, she's happy. Well, she's happy for them. Or it could mean that she sees them as happy guy, a happy couple. She sees them as a happy couple. She thinks they're happy. Okay. How does she feel towards them being together, engaged? She's lost interest, okay? She's got the Eight of Cups. She's lost interest in Justin. She kind of got turned off. All right. Her reactions, how she will be acting towards this, you know? Art. She's got Temperance. In other decks, it's called Temperance. You could look it up. Temperance means that she's not going to display any anger. She's going to be calm. You know, she's going to be pretty cool about it. Okay, she's going to be contained. You know, 
Um, you guys are asking if Selena and Justin are going to get together someday. Well, that's a long run from now. And remember, cards change as we go. Maybe someday, if these people do break, break up, then I will do a reading towards that. But for now, we gotta we gotta focus on the energies that we got now, which is they're going on strong, but there's a pause. Okay, there's a pause. Maybe they're seeking. Maybe he's seeking a reaction from her. Okay, and he's not gonna get any reaction from her because she's gonna be pretty cool about it. And she's kind of lost interest. She sees them like they're in love, okay? That's how she sees. That's her perception of Justin and Haley. All right? Um, okay, you know what? Let's ask what Selena, is Selena dating anybody? Like, how's her love life? Has she found, well, will she need someone, you know? Let's, let's, see, let's, let's see what's up with Selena. Um, how is Selena's love life doing? Okay. What are the energies we pick up with Selena's love life? Peace. There's no movement whatsoever. It's peaceful at, at the moment in her life. She's got two of swords. As you can see there says peace. And it's true, yeah. I really don't see any movement in her life now, any any activity whatsoever in regards to love. Um, will there be any activity towards love with Selena? Will she find someone or will we see her dating someone new? Alright, let's see. In the coming six months. Yeah, I like to read the coming six months. Will we see that Selena is dating someone new? She's got the Wheel of Fortune. She's got a lot of suitors. A lot. She's a very fortunate girl. She's got a lot of guys that like her. She's really pretty. And yeah, she's got a lot of possibilities, guy. Who it is, it's unknown because the wheel is still spinning. But yeah, Selena does have a lot of probabilities and I'm happy for her. She deserves that. Okay, what else could we ask? Um, yeah, I think I think this is, this is it, guys. If you guys want a reading, go to the, the, the information below and I'll be happy to do your reading. Um, I usually get love readings and... I also do career readings, um, job readings, health readings. You know, we can customize it to your situation. So I hope you enjoy this video and namaste. Hey guys, check out my music channel where I write my own music, sing and play piano. Make sure to subscribe. Oh.